Okay, so uh, 9th of February 2024, uh, back again on the uh, dips. So the routine by now for this month at least is established. It's uh, pull, push legs, pull, push legs. So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday is going to be the punch bag. Um, I got a, a new implement. Okay, a, a bull worker, a bull worker. You know, I'm not, I'm not convinced that uh, this is going to be really beneficial. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think the beauty of it is for isometric exercises. Whether isometric exercises are going to contribute very much, again, highly debatable. Uh, but the price was so cheap that I couldn't resist it. And even if, even if I, you know, eventually work out that it's a complete waste of time, I'll just sell it on. Hopefully. Uh, but you know, what, from from what I can see of it, you can use it for warm ups, more than likely. I mean, it seems like a good warm up device. Uh, I could probably use it at the end of a workout as a, some sort of a finisher. Uh, yeah, more the merrier, you know, more the merrier. Uh, obviously, I'm doing I'm doing dips today, so that's sort of like a chest, shoulders, triceps. Uh, so, so this sort of movement is definitely going to affect that. Now if you look at it, it's got this little slider. So what, what happens is that this part of the metal, this end, this part of the metal slides over this part of the metal. And the slider here indicates how far you've gone down. So obviously, you know, the, you know, the, the further you can move it, the better, I suppose, or the stronger you are. Uh, it's, it's a, I find it quite maddening because the range of motion is very restricted. So you, you know, even if, even if you are giving it all that you've got, it doesn't move very far. You know, maybe, maybe that's just indicating that I'm a, I'm a beginner to it and I'm not very good at it. But uh, if you, if you look at the, the little red marker, yeah. You know, if I press very hard, it, I will reach the red marker and move it. So it's a good indicator. It's a clever little system, I think, in that regard. So that... Ah, oh, moving it. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to do too much of this because the, you know, the idea is to do dips. So it's a simple warm-up. I'm just doing a few easy reps. It's not hard. I'm not doing it hard now. I'm not trying to move the mark or anything. That was just an illustration. You know, I think at the end of the session I might give it a proper go. Yeah, moved it. Yeah. Uh, apparently this is a, this is a, another shoulder exercise that you can do with it. I mean, it is hard, but uh, how useful it is, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I will play around with it, see what happens. I'm not saying it's good or bad. Let's say I paid very little for it. The worst that's going to happen is gonna going to be sold. <laughs> okay, so back to the the main deal, the dips. Last time with 20 kilos so 20 kilos if you can see that got me 7736 on a three minute timer 77666 on a three minute timer yeah so hopefully we're going to get at least a rep or two more okay uh, first thing first, I like to do one one single rep just to stretch it out. Yeah, that was a nice stretch out. Give me a second, I will do well. charge on the phone. Okay, I'm going to get the timer set up in a second, get the belt on, and away we will go. Okay, 
Just 20 kilos. Can you see that's a 15? Am I on screen? There's a 15. And behind that we've got a 5. So that's 20 kilos hanging there. Oh yeah, and today it's Friday, carb up day. Okay, wonderful, wonderful carb up day. Uh, do we need a carb up day? Well, I'm going to say, I'm going to say not necessarily, but uh, you know, if we, if if you if you're interested in uh, high performance, yeah, I think it's a good idea. Depends on <laughs> end of the day. It depends on you as an individual. You know. How, uh, well, that's pretty nicely, you know, what level of um, adipose tissue are you carrying? <laughs> are you fat? <laughs> if, you, if you're fat, you know, carbon day is probably not a great idea. Uh, you, know, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure that, you know, the purists among you, yeah, you, you can, you're not, you're not going to like this, yeah, you're not going to like this. But as I say, it's the uh, the one day one day one day a week carb up, and these are largely glucose, and uh, so I read you should begin a carb up with uh, fast carbs. Uh, sucrose and fructose are not really highly recommended. Uh, you can have you can have some amount of, of, of sucrose and fructose, but uh, glucose is the one that's highly recommended. And uh, you know you can you can you can uh, get a nice a nice powder form, but <laughs> these are more fun. Yeah. Chew up myself when I do this because I'm not going to wait. It's very chewy. So, what was I saying? The target is eight reps. Okay, we need eight. Eight. All is well with the world. Okay, and as I as I repeatedly say, if the first or first set goes well, then I'm going to take it as a win. Whatever happens. So let me write eight. Yeah. Well, obviously, we've got to see how this pans out over a somewhat longer period of time. But the point here is to illustrate that you can train frequently and it's proper hard training, it's not it's not just light and fast stuff. It's proper hard training, you know, and weighted dips are no joke. And you can make progress. Okay. As I said, nothing definitive has been proven yet. You know, this is just uh, week one. You know, if I can keep this up for multiple multiple weeks, great. Mm. No post power. I'm not sure if uh, you know eating fast carbs has an immediate impact on your training. 
pasūlės. Ok. Ok. Nu, čia apie nuvesai, ar eiti, tai pasibūt. Un nes, pasai. Hei, čia sem obi gūr. Ei, obi vete. Few seconds. Go up the net set. Eight reps. Yeah, carb up there, carb up there. Look forward to it, for sure. For sure, if you, if you are just simply restricted to the same very limited food groups, it's, it, gets, it gets a bit, a bit of a mental grind. Okay, let's do it. Hey, come on. Good, 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 good. Yeah, it's all looking like a win today. So previously a pair of sevens and now a pair of eights. Okay. So, let's try and finish it off with sevens. Yeah. Now the art of the car, but as I say, you know, I'm going, I'm, go, I'm going off, um, I'm not really doing a proper carb up, you know, truth be told. You know, a proper carb up is, a, it's a, it's a two day affair. Yeah? Uh, the reason being is that the, uh, that, that's how, that's, that's what it takes to turn off all the negative sig signals that dieting turns on. But you know the reality of the of what I'm doing is not really dieting. I'm doing a a keto run during the week. Uh, the calories are not terribly restricted. You know, so I'm not, I'm not really intentionally trying to lose weight. Really, you know, a very, you know, a, a, a very slight weight loss is what I what I want. Very slight. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm probably not going into, you know, the sort of like uh, starvation mode that dieting brings. And with, with that starvation mode, you get all sorts of uh, negative consequences on your hormones and, I don't know, something called leptin. You know, you know long, long story short, you know, it makes you feel like crap. Uh, and if you prolong it, you know, just keep going in that mode. You know, all your performance suffers, you lose muscle, etc, 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 and it's a real drag. Uh, but if you, if, you, if you break it up, if you, if you um, introduce a refeed, so you do your, during the week, your, your depletion, your deprivation if you like, but at the weekend you do a refeed, yeah, it will turn off all the bad signals. You can maintain your strength and everything. It's, uh, yeah, it's a very clever, nifty idea. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not really doing it to that extent this time around. Okay, what do we say? Seven, seven is good and six is fine. Six is fine, seven is great. Um, yeah, I'm, at this stage, I'm not, I'm not really concentrating on, uh, on on fat loss so much. I'm now trying to build back up a little bit. As I say, you know, January was a lean January. <sighs> Did a lot of light and fast training. The calories were down. The carbs were down, etc., etc., etc. Now I'm turning it round. Now we're moving more into the hypertrophy. Um, but as I say, you know, all week I've not been terribly deprived. You know, I've been eating a fair, a fair amount of calories, you know, it, regardless of uh, the extremely low carbs. 
So what I'm doing is uh, I'm, I'm refilling the glycogen stores to a certain, not, not refilling, but yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I, I, uh, yeah, go on then, go on then. I'm refilling the glycogen stores so that I can get a, a good workout in tomorrow, let's say. Maybe, maybe the next couple of days. Uh, maintain all the strength and size and power, etc. And uh, then it's back into the... Uh, into the uh, into the carnivore uh, hopefully a little bit of fat burning going off yeah and they, you know, there are various aspects to it you know, not not least the psychological you know I, I don't find the uh, carnivore day to be you know massively appealing in a culinary sense and especially especially my version which is uh, you know it's, pretty cheap and cheerful and it's um, rotating around sardines which I, you know, I don't even like sardines so you know, you know I'm setting myself up to fail in that regard but I'll, I'll stick it out as long as I can yeah, it's not that bad yeah I mean my my uh, my Monday my Sunday to uh, Friday routine breakfast is four eggs sardines during the day and then some meat at night Okay, so can we get another seven? Can we get a, can we get a miracle? A miracle! Come on, seven! Come on! Yay, seven! Hopefully you can see the good deep reps. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not insisting on uh, any particular form. You don't necessarily have to do a full range of motion, but I do. Oh, yeah. Full range of motion, that's... That's the way I do it. I, I like to do nice carbon copy reps. Every every rep is the same. Well, it's the same. It's, a, it's the same range of motion. You know, possibly for example, on the last rep, I will uh, I will prolong the pain a little bit. You know, in the ditch, hold it hold it a little bit longer in that bottom position. Okay, eating my totally non, non carnivore, artificial, unnatural glucose sauce. Yeah. Poison's in the dose. Yeah, we live in this world, it's not perfect. Ah, oh dear. So what's on the menu today? Well, I've got a little bit of, you know, the, it's, the way that I do it is uh, during the day. So it's going to be, bre you know, bre breakfast is gone. I had, I had a cereal, a bit of protein powder. Uh, after this, uh, it's going to be bread mostly bread no, but not, not too much it's only going to be about four or five slices four slices of bread sir maybe a little bit of honey and again a bit of protein powder now this is the only day that i use protein powder friday that's it uh and then around five o'clock there'll be a then 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 the proper the proper carb up the carb up proper so it'll be a three hour window between five and eight and I will just eat and eat and eat yeah as much as I want really bread potatoes especially okay can we get seven to finish that would be great
seven. Okay. In the words of Bob the Builder, yes, we can. Bob the Builder. <laughs> What's wrong, mate? I love this gym slavery. Yeah, I love it. It's great. Okay, so that was seven, so that session's over. So, as I was saying, typically the carb will begin with sort of like fast carbs. Uh, I had granola for breakfast, and there's a quite, that, that, you know, there's quite quite a sugar content to granola. Uh, I'm eating uh, these glucose things, uh, little wormy things, glucose gummies, whatever they are. Yeah. So the advice is kick off with the uh, fast carbs. Okay, this is all going to be very moderate. After this, it will be bread and honey, protein powder, and later on, a lot of bread, potatoes. The way I, the way I normally eat potatoes is uh, air fried chips. So it's you know, a little bit of oil, not much. Okay, you can see the result. So last time it was seven seven six six six. This time it's eight eight triple seven, which is obviously a massive uh, victory. No doubt about it. A clear victory, a clear advance. Yeah, let's see how it goes. But you can imagine if, you, you know, if you're only training once a week. Yeah, the progress is so slow. Um. Probably include in my car book. I'll probably include, you know, a few of the foods that. Um, let's let's say let's say, how how can I put it? Okay, they, they've got they've got good elements and bad elements in them. For example, uh, beans. Yeah. You know, I, I, I wouldn't eat beans often, but once a week I will have a tin of beans just to add to the uh, nutritional variety. Uh, I'll, have some, uh, I'll, have, I'll have some vegetables and mushrooms, a little bit of fruit, not much at all, you know, fruit is not ideal, um, the reason being that it's proce processed by the liver, it's, it's, um, I'm not going really to go into the science of it, but it doesn't go straight into the muscles, uh, but I will have a little bit, a, a few, you know, typically a few dates, I love, I love those, and I bought them anyway, so I'm going gonna, gonna to probably eat about four that's it, so for, that'll be my entire fruit intake, four dates. Now they're nice, they're nice big ones, what they call them, the julen or something, I don't know exactly. But they're good ones anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll not worry too much about counting anything really, I'll just keep eating them. Eight o'clock it stops. So between five and eight I'll eat as I wish. Then it stops. Uh, and we go back tomorrow. We go back on the carny boat. Sunday will be sort of like um, a, 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 a much lower calorie. Well, it's just yeah, it's a, you know, it's it's a low calorie day. So basically, on sorry, 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 Saturday, the next day, Saturday, tomorrow is Saturday. Saturday will be a, a low calorie affair. Uh, I'll have my normal breakfast, a few eggs. Uh, the training should be hard because I should have some stored glycogen. Okay, so hard training, and then after training, um, again more more carnivore there, uh, sardines probably. Um, but then that's it, that's it, so it, it will be two meals, that's it, okay, so immediately getting rid of the bloat, so immediately countering what happens today, and then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 
it's a standard carnivore, basically three, three, three eating periods, breakfast, which is quite moderate, four eggs, um, post-training, load of sardines, evening, meat. Yeah. Sunday training will be punch bag, cardio, which again will serve to um, deplete the gly glycogen stores. And then, yeah, the uh, pull push legs routine begins again on Monday. Okay, simple cycle. Okay, my friends, that was a, a good, solid step forward. Nice progress. We'll see how it goes in future. Bye.